I'm Glenda Du Bois and I am a community member at this point who is very, very much still in love with this library. And in the past, um, I was, I served on the board. I served on the board of directors and I came on the board. This was actually my very first board of directors position. And so it was a learning experience for me. And I came on the board and one of the primary things we were doing at that time was building and a library. That was our task. And the first thing we had to do was to raise the funds for it. So that was interesting and exciting to be a part of the bond issue and really uh, uh, working to get that passed. And then also looking at the library in a little box, something that I had never really worked with plans, but looking at it as uh, this little, this building in, an, in a box and how do we build it and put it together. So that has been, uh, that is probably one of my, when I think of some of my fun memories of the library, that's exactly what I go back to thinking of where I was at that point in my life, being excited to be a part of this, but then to think about where we are now and how it has really and absolutely grown. I have also, um, it's interesting because I served on the library during that time, the library board of directors, as we were um, building the library, so serving in different roles and different capacities during that time. Uh, but then also, um, and one thing as we were building the library, we were building the library for, a, for the future. So it was exciting to think of building a uh, creating a community where people would really feel that this was something that belonged to them. I can remember the conversations around how do we, where do we put certain rooms and how do we come up with certain colors and things that will make people really want to come to the library and this be a cultural um, area for them. And in the, since serving on the library board of directors, I was really pleased when I was asked to come back and actually serve as a member of the library foundation. Because the foundation board was what was inspiring to me when I served on the uh, board of trustees, was to look at the, see how the two work together and how we really work together to bring uh, the resources to, to the library so that we could continue to build and continue to expand. So that was very exciting. So I was part, really proud to be a part of that group then who was looking at ways that we could continue to grow the library. And then also I've had the opportunity to uh, come back to the library and really work, bring the organizational work that I'm involved with throughout the community. For example, with the Topeka uh, chapter of the Lynx, our ability to partner with the library in the Dolly Parton um, imagination um, program and with United Way and how those missions, how our missions have really molded together and we still have that um, the goal of really educating and educating at a, at a very young age, but then also some of the other programs that we've had, uh, such as the read-in that we partner with the library, says that you know we really want to continue to live up the legacy and the history of the African American community and others in the community, but a way that brings people together also. So those have been some of the things that's really been important to me and really helped me to feel very much a part of the, of the library and to uh, be so proud when I can say to people that you really need to support the library and be a part of it because it is really one of the foundational, I think, institutions that we actually have here in our, uh, in our community. Out. Well, of the library, you know, when, when the library was uh, named, what, one of the best libraries in the country, I'm probably not saying that correct, but, you know, but that title that we won and that recognition that the library uh, received, I, I felt very proud of that. I felt very proud of it because of the, the legacy of the work that had been done, but then also of the work that's being done uh, continually. It's very obvious that uh, as our new ex uh, executive director came in and really began to continue to work with the new CEO, that it's really been a continuing process of engaging the community and expanding the library and really making it the very best that it could be. So that was very, very proud for me. You know, I'm also always very proud when I walk out of the library and I see my name on the cornerstone and I 
can talk to people about the library and say, you know, when people come into Topeka, I'll say, you should go to the library. And I was really a part of that, and I'm excited about the Millennium Cafe because that was one other thing I said, you know, that's something that's important to the uh, to to having it here. So those are fun memories, and when I see new. Uh, things continually happening. I continue to have those moments that I am continually proud of having been a part of the library, but I've always still felt that I, I was uh, still a valuable part of the, the ongoing uh, legacy that we are creating. I would just like to add that I, I think that our library, uh, the uh, Topeka uh, Shawnee County Public Library, is something that um, we really should all continue to be proud of and to support. I can remember being overseas and, and being at different libraries, but and then even thinking about ours, you know, over the other side of the, the world, how much it still was a part of me and how much it really um, had compared to some of the others, even around the country uh, and around the world. So I think it's something that we can continue to be proud of, and I am very proud of having been a part of it and I just um, solicit the support and the engagement of our youth and our uh, community to continue to support the library. <laughs>